ಅಪ್ಯಂದಮಂಗಿ ಪಾಕ್ ಪ್ರಾಣಶ್ಯಕ್ಷುಶ್ರೋತ್ರಮಥೋಬಲಮೇಂದ್ರಿಯಾ ಸರ್ವ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಉಪನಿಷದ ಮಹಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ನಿರಾಕುರಿಯ ಮಾಮ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ನಿರಾಕರೋತ್ ಅನಿರಾಕರ ನಮಸ್ತು ಅನಿರಾಕರ ನಮೇ ಅಸ್ತು ತದಾತ್ಮನಿ ನಿರತೈಯ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ಸು ಧರ್ಮಸ್ತೆ ಮೈ ಸಂತು ತೇ ಮೈ ಸಂತು ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹಿಂ ಮೆ ಕ್ವೈಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಡಿಸೆಂಜ್ ಅಪೋನ್ ಮೈ ಲಿಮ್ಸ್ ಮೈ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ ಮೈ ಬ್ರೆತ್ ಮೈ ಐಸ್ ಮೈ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಮೇ ಆಲ್ ಮೈ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಮೇ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಶೋ ಹಿಮ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಅನ್ ಟು ಮೀ may i never deny brahman or brahman me i with him and he with me may we abide all is together may there be revealed to me who am devoted to brahman the holy truth of the upanishads om peace 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 be unto all this morning our subject is thoughts on the gita part 62 we are studying the sixth chapter of the bhagavad gita which is called dhyana yoga chapter on meditation in this chapter krishna gave detailed spiritual meditation instruction to arjuna and he told him the result of meditation prashanta manasham your mind will be very calm and peaceful and joyful shanta rajasham all your restlessness will go away brahma bhuta akalmasham you will be sinless you will be one with brahman sukhena brahma samasparsham attantam sukham asnute when you get the touch of god brahman your whole body your whole mind will be saturated with bliss next ikshate yoga yukta atma sarvatra samadarshana you will see god in everything in every being through meditation then arjun said to lord krishna you talked about this kind of highest yoga equanimity seeing god and everything all these things i cannot see my mind is very very disturbed restless turbulent very difficult Yogavashishta Ramayana says, only mind can control the mind. How? When your body is dirty, how do you clean your body? You clean the body with your body. You take soap with your hand, you clean your body. So as you use your body to clean your body, in the same way you clean your mind with the help of the mind. very interesting <laughs> this restlessness goes away if you make a fire in your fireplace it will give you heat you will get a lot of fire but eventually the fire will be extinguished if you do not put more wood into the fireplace similarly don't feed the mind with too many worldliness the more you feed the more the mind will be restless mind is the cause of happiness and the misery mind is the cause of liberation mind is the cause of bondage when the mind is attached to the sense objects worldly objects it becomes bound 
when the mind becomes free from sense objects, it becomes free. In this chapter, now Arjuna, Krishna will answer Arjuna's question. Very difficult. We shall start verse 35. Arjuna says, This yoga which has been taught by you, O Krishna, is characterized by the vision of equality. I do not see the possibility of its lasting endurance owing to restlessness of the mind. Verily, the mind of Krishna is restless, turbulent, strong, and unyielding. I regard it quite as hard to achieve its control as that of the earth. Now, Krishna's answer. Shri Bhagavan Uvacho. Pasamshayam Mahabaho Mano Durnir Griham Chalam. We have the eternal question and we have the eternal answer. Question is, mind is restless. What can I do? Answer, these are the two ways you can control the mind. By repetition of practice and by detachment. Without doubt, O oh mighty arm, the mind is restless and difficult to control. But through practice and renunciation, O oh son of Kunti, it can be achieved. Very interesting. <clears throat> Abhyas. In the Yoga Sutra also, we find Patanjali, the father of yoga psychology, mentioned Abhyasa Bhairagya Bhamta Nirudha. One can control the mind by repetition of practice and detachment. Krishna also mentioned the same thing. In the Yoga Vashishtha Ramana, we find four methods to control the mind. First, Adhyatma Veda, Adhyatma Vidya, Sang Yoga. Adhyatma Vidya. Practice your japa, meditation, spiritual disciplines regularly. That will help you to control the mind. If it does not work, Shadi Shambhu, holy company. A holy man will constantly remind you your goal. Sometimes we forget. We need somebody who will remind us again and again, again and again. What is our goal? What is our destination? Why are we not making any progress in spiritual life? If these two methods do not work, third method, Yoga Vashishta says, Vashanatya. Counteract your bad desires with good desires. We have so many desires. Counteract them. Replace them one with the other. If that does not work, pranayama will work. You see, mind and prana breath control. These two have very close relationship. Mind controls the prana, prana controls the mind. You are an artist. When you are working on a painting, when you take your brush and the paint, you are almost breathless. You so quietly, calmly you put that thing. Automatically, if your mind is restless, your whole body will shake. So an artist is a good meditator, you see. So he has a breathless with adoration, with love, he paints his things. I see sometimes in Laguna Beach, some ocean artists, they see the ocean, they see the mood of the ocean and the waves and paints, paints, paints. 
They have the easel, they put the painting, they sing the ocean. Several people do that. Prana. Pranayama, as I said, is very, prana controls the mind. Sometimes I ask people, those who are very restless, practice They call it some kind of yoga, hmm? which just take the breath, whole breath out and hold it. They call it yoga mudra. Sit cross-legged, put your hand, both hands on your knees, and take all breath out through the mouth. Shhh. Two, three times, take all breath out, all air out from your body. And then bend your head, maybe on a pillow or if you wish you can put on the floor and hold it. When you desperately need the breath, slowly raise your head and take the breath at that time through the nostril. Slowly, stop. Two, three times, take regular breath. Again, practice the same method, all breath out through the lips. All breath out. And then again do it. If you do three, four, five times, you will find the whole system have come, has come down. This is called Yoga Mudra. The yogis practice it if mind is too much restless. How to do it? Sanchal, mind is restless. <coughs> You see, wherever we go, we go with our minds. But our problem is we are in St. Louis or we are in the shrine, our minds are moving all around the world. That is our problem. The thing which we love, we are attached to our minds, go to that direction. If you have love for God, your mind will go to God. If you have love for sense objects, your mind will go to the sense objects. It depends upon your love, your passion. I remember when we were in seventh grade, we had to re-memorize the Panchatantra Katha Mukha. Bane upi dosha prabhavanti raginam griyopi panchandriya nigrastapa. Akutsiti karmani jana pravartate nivita ragasya grivista bhavanam. Perhaps you want calmness of your mind, so you go into dense forest or in the cave. But there you will find same restlessness because your mind is... Some people go to the retreat to have some calmness of the mind. But you are carrying your mind. Same thing, you are in a busy household. If your mind is calm, your household becomes an hermitage. And if your mind is restless, <clears throat> the hermitage becomes the household. That the shloka says. Wherever your mind, there you are. Krishna adopted the ancient method <coughs> of samshayam. <coughs> you were truly right, mind is restless. I am not denying that mind is not restless. This is called abhupo gamabad. Do you know how to argue with people? Suppose somebody has come to argue with you. You are listening. The moment he says, you, whatever you say, you are, it is right. But then you just refute him. First accept him. Otherwise he will be very angry. <laughs> so he said, I, I agree with you. I agree with you that you know, it is awesome. It is very difficult to control the mind. <laughs> you are right. Patanjali says, Sadhu dirghakala noirantar jo tatkara sevita dhira bhumi. If you really want to control the mind, Practice long hours, dirgo kalo, and uninterruptedly. Un 
I was reading the life of Jogin Ma, who was a household woman disciple of Sri Ramakrishna. Every morning she will go to the Ganges and bathe in the Ganges on the Ganges Ghat. She will repeat mantra four hours. And when she would come to see Holy Mother, her face was red. Rain, summer, winter, does not mind. She did not mind. She will go take bath and repeat mantra four hours. That is the way. Full mind, mind is under full control. Dirgo <laughs> call uninterrupted. Then you will get a firm ground. Krishna says two words, abhyas, vairagya, abhyas. People learn music, people learn dancing. How much efforts are there? In our library, there is a book by Ravi Shankar, My Music, My Life. He used to practice 16, 17 hours a day. And his guru, Alauddin Khan, sometimes he used to lie down on the, on the floor, putting his sitar on his chest. Sometimes his guru will come and weep. Then constant practice, then everything will come in the hands. The, the way he, he, used to, he used to play sitar, master. How does it come? Repetition of practice. Music, dancing, whatever field you are, it's repetition of practice. When you first learn driving, you are so careful. Now, driving is your second nature. In one wheel, you are driving, you are talking with cell phone, you are drinking coffee, you are driving. So many things you are doing simultaneously, you do not mind. Because driving has become your second nature. I'm just telling you how abhyas, practice makes a person perfect. <laughs> and sometimes I make joke that when I first learned computer, I was afraid of this kind of mechanism. I'm not a very mechanical person. And I learn, now I see that I spend more time in, in front of computer than I spend time in the shrine. Because my work is on the computer, what to do? Anyhow, just practice. The thing which I was afraid previously, now I am not afraid at all. Abhyas. The scripture, the commentator says, Abhyas means the same thought comes to the mind again and again and again and again. Then it keeps a deep impression in the mind. If you go over the grass on the forest park, if you walk once, grass will remain as it is. But thousand, plus from here we want to go to the shortcut to the museum, over the grass, plus 100,000 People, every day walk, you will find the grass will die and a, a, gra a path will be, a walking path will be, will be built. Because by constant pressing on the grass, the grass dies. So constant impression in the mind, it goes into the deep plane. I'm just talking about mantra, repeating mantra or practicing meditation. It goes in the deeper recess of the, recess of the mind and then it remains. That he is talking about, abhyas. Practice, practice, practice. Second, Krishna says, vairagya. How to attain vairagya, detachment, re renunciation, or dispassion, whatever you call it, non-attachment. First, he says, <coughs> mrityu chintan, thinking of death. This life is not real, eternal. This world is not under, is not eternal. We are here very short time. So why should I be attached to these worldly things? 
that is one way second bishaye dosho darshan seeing why should i be attached to the body what is in the body this kind of discrimination creates detachment third sadhu sangho holy company i sometimes give this example you like it or don't like it you go to the perfume shop in the departmental store the fragrance will penetrate inside your nostril you cannot help it similarly holy company if you can't stay with them their divine fragrance will go inside you you cannot help it <coughs> if you stand at the ocean the gentle breeze of the ocean will come to your view you cannot to stop it that is the way holy company works next how to create chanti chasman bhagavata anurupti love for god love for god very few people love god in this world sometimes i see if sri ram krishna used to say आगे ईश्वर पर जगत फार्स्ट गॉड देन दि वर्ल्ड देन यू इफ यू रिवर्स इट यू विल जी प्राव मी फर्स्ट दैट मीन्स आई एम सेल्फिश एंड गॉड एंड एवरी वर्ड आफ्टर वर्ड्स आई फर्स्ट ईट देन माई वाइफ माई चिल्ड्रेन माई फादर मदर दे विल ईट दैट मीन्स यू आर सेल्फिश मी स्वामी जी से दैट इज सीन selfishness is sin unselfishness is god if you really want to be spiritual if you want to make progress in spiritual life love and serve forget yourself this is the only way you can improve yourself you can change yourself according to yoga sutra renunciation has also non attachment has also four grades four stages of non attachment first yatoma you just started to get rid of your bad habits just a beginner oh no 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 i shall not get involved i shall not go to the bad places i shall not drink i shall not um, smoke it is harmful for my body in this way you are discriminating and giving up giving up i must practice go to vedanta or some temple i must practice a spiritual discipline you are just reorganizing your life and from the worldly life into spiritual life that is called jyotoma and you just make to give a start you are making an effort second is called beti reki beti reki means he gave up some bad desires still fewer there which he is struggling to get rid of it i have not yet completely control all of my all problems still fewer there that is the second stage in the third stage is called ekendri ekendri means he has quite a bit of control all of his desires his mind is not going to the world but do you know what thank you damn curiosity is there let me see i gave up all those things let me see let me see curiosity <laughs> i saw a funny advertisement in the in california <laughs> a girl stood on sunset boulevard and she, people are passing by and she was asking you can sniff my neck so people are there beautiful young girl standing on the street people are sniffing what is this curiosity curiosity is a perfume <laughs> which is an advertisement of the perfume <laughs> i shall never forget that funny funny ad. a young girl standing on the street and asking people just you know sniff my 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 neck you will see what is there so people is sniffing what is this curiosity (laughs) 
No, it is in California. <laughs> Some people have too much curiosity. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> and Boshika Shanga Boiraggo, full control. Maya cannot tempt you anymore. Krishna says, Ashamshayam Mahabahu. Mahabahu means, oh great armed one, you are a great hero. It is definite. It is difficult, but not impossible. I remember when we were students, we used to memorize proverbs. Napoleon, when the Alps came in front, his army says, it is Alps. How can we cross it? Then do you know what Napoleon says? Impossible is the word found in the dictionary of a fool. We used to memorize that proverb. Impossible is the word found in the dictionary of a fool. There will be no Alps. Go. That kind of determination, positive outlook, is extremely important in the spiritual life. Asamsa, it is definitely, it is difficult, but not impossible. That he says, I am telling you the secret. Could you imagine that people can go to the moon? Our old Swami, he did not believe it. <laughs> he said, oh, American people went somewhere and brought some rocks, you know. <laughs> Nobody can go to the moon. <laughs> But I remember in 1976, I went to Smithsonian Institution and they kept a rock from, um, from the moon. And everybody goes and touches it. So I touched that moon rock. I can prove, tell you that I touched the moon. <laughs> Abhyas. Do not give up hope. Make effort. One of our swamis used to tell a story. A, a mother bird laid some eggs on the seashore. When the high tide came, a wave took away all the eggs. So the husband and wife came back. They did not, found their, they did not find their eggs. So they determined that we shall dry the ocean and take our eggs back. What they, do, what they did, they jumped into the ocean and took some water with their wings and they shook it on the shore. They, they dipped into the ocean, weighed their body, and was shaking on the shore. In this way, they, these two little birds were trying to dry the ocean. Then at that time, Vishnu, the great god, his carrier is Bogoruda the god of the birds, very powerful. So <laughs> Vishnu said to Goluda, Goluda, look, your fellows, stupid fellows, they are trying to <laughs> dry the ocean this way. Why don't you go and help them? Goluda came and with his powerful wings shook the whole ocean. The ocean was afraid of Goluda and he returned all the eggs to the that couple, that bird's the Swami used to tell that if you try to make effort in your life, God's grace will dawn on you. God will help you. As Vishnu helped those two birds to get back their eggs. Make effort. Don't give up. Recently, I was seeing in the newspaper a 73 years old woman went to the top of the Mount Everest. Never give up. Difficult, but not impossible. Sri Ramakrishna gave many illustrations about Abhyas, practice. He said, 
mind is just like a washer, how cloth of a washerman's house. He has many dyes, many colors. If you want yellow, he will dip your cloth in the yellow tub. Blue, blue tub. Green, green tub. So if you want a spiritual color, he will dip your mind into the spiritual tub. That is the way the spiritual life helps us to change our life. Abhas. As I was telling you that American people, that driving is their second nature. In India, Sri Ramakrishna gave an illustration. A woman is nursing her baby and she is turning the rice in the mortar and with another hand she is frying the rice and she is talking to a neighbor that you owe so much money from me and all these things, four actions are going on in this woman but her 90% mind is on her right hand because any mistake means her, her hand will be crushed by the pestle. That is called Abhash. It is the second nature. She is talking this and that. And that. She knows the rhythm of the pestle, how these people are padding from behind. She knows the rhythm, so her hands are moving automatically. Amazing how, it, how they do. Just you drink coffee and coconut, uh, donut and drive car, they also do the same thing in a different way. <laughs> Abhas. Sri Ramakrishna gave another example. In the northern part of India, some women go a distance to bring drinking water. What do they do? They put one, they have a, on the, on the head, they put a cloth, uh, some kind of support, and then one pitcher, then another pitcher, then another pitcher, three pitchers, one after another. They walk, they talk, they joke, but they are carrying three pitchers on their heads then bringing water to home. How is it possible? Practice. Practice. Repetition of practice. So mind can be controlled. <clears throat> Sri Ramakrishna went to see Sarkas. He saw an English woman. There is a ring and she is riding on a horse. She is going to the ring and jump on the back of the horse. How is it possible? Sri Ramakrishna told him, look, look, this is called Abhyash. Practice. Her one mistake means she will fall and break her body. And she, she never missed once. Bhairagya, Sri Ramakrishna told the stories, be khandani chasha, be a hereditary farmer. If rain comes, he will till the ground. If rain does not come, if, if there is drought, he will till the ground. And he will sow the seed. He cannot stop it. And then he brings water. That's that famous story of Sri Ramakrishna. A man, two farmers are bringing water by cutting a tunnel. The first man was cutting and it was noon. His wife came, hello, it is last time, why don't you come? Oh, no, 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 I'll have to bring water. You can bring water tomorrow, come have lunch. So the, this man gave up his shovel and came back and started to have lunch. The second farmer say when his wife came, he said, don't come near me, I shall hit you. Don't you see, last two years we have no rain. We must bring water to our field, otherwise our children, we shall die without food. We must have food. And till evening he worked, and the water came to his field. Then he came back to his home, asked his wife, now give me food to eat. Sri Ramakrishna said, this kind of determination can bring success in his spiritual life. That is good. Shami Vivekananda made a comment on this, on this 
on this verse of the Gita. Very nice. Disciples, sir, it is so difficult to direct this uncontrolled mind towards Brahman. Swamiji, is there anything difficult for the hero? Only when a faint heart speaks so. Mukti, liberation is easy of attainment only to the hero, but not to the cowards, says the Gita. By renunciation and by practice is the mind brought under control, O Arjuna. The mind stuff, chitra, is like a transparent lake, and the waves which rise in it by the impact of sense impressions constitute manas or the mind. Therefore, the mind consists of succession of thought waves. From these mental waves arises desire. Then the desire transforms itself into will and works through each gross instrument, the body. Again, as work is endless, so its fruits also are endless. Hence, the mind is always being tossed by countless myriads of waves, the fruits of work. This mind has to be divested of all modifications, brittis, and reconverted into the transparent lake so that there remains not a single wave of modification in it. Then will Brahman manifest itself. It is true. God is within us, but we do not see it because the turbulence of the mind, restlessness of the mind. I have seen in the I went to Yosemite National Forest. From there, I went to see Lake Tahoe over the Sierra Mountain by, Mo, by a mono lake. That part of the country in America is so beautiful, I cannot tell you. People say America is beautiful, that part of the country. Some lakes are there, it is so transparent. You can, I, you can see your whole face just as you see your face in a, on a mirror. So when the mind becomes like transparent, you can see inside. You can see God. If you can control the mind, what will happen? Jitam jagat kena manuhi jena. Who has controlled the world? The person who has controlled the mind. If you have shoes, you will not have to, you know the whole world is covered with, with leather. You will not have to cover the whole city with leather. You have the shoes. Similarly, if your mind is under control, then this whole world becomes the Shuddha Rosh. It is a ocean of bliss. You can experience that, that kind of sweetness. <clears throat> Next, Krishna says, Vashan yatatma ajnana yogi yogo dusprapava iti me matihi vashyatma natu yatata shakyo apaptum upayataha. Yoga is hard to be attained by one of uncontrolled self. Such is my conviction. But the self-control, Striving by right means can obtain it. Uncontrolled self, asamyatatma. For one who has no control of the self or mind, there is no possibility of yoga. One device of control of the self of mind means discipline or, or control. Without that control, when the mind is wandering here and there, such one cannot get any kind of yoga. That is my opinion, Krishna says. Do you know how do I look at it? Sit down in your shrine. Hundred times repeat the mantra. Perhaps ninety times you will find your mind did not go to God. Ten times you hit it. Your mind touched God ten times. Another day, perhaps 
20 times you, your mind touched. Another day perhaps 50 times it touched. Another day perhaps 75 times your mind touched God. 25 times you failed. Do you know what is the, what is the reason? Mind moves through the three gunas. Shatva, Rajas and Tamas. When mind is in Shatva guna, you find it just boom. It actually immediately goes, you will not have to ever, you mean, you, you, at that time mantra is not necessary, ever, you can see God straight. Rajaguna, mind, at that time you were struggling. Tamaguna, you fall asleep. So mind rotates, moves in these three places, Shatva, Rajas and Tamas, that he is telling, this yoga, this is dushprapa, very difficult. Do you know what is the, what is the secret? One of our swamis, I was watching him. Before meditation, he will read four verses of the Christ jewel of discrimination, Deviko Churamani. Or another swami I noticed, before meditation, he will go and read one or two pages of the gospel. Then he will go to the shrine. Preparation. He prepares himself. He brings mind under control. Then he goes. Sometimes some people play a little music. That also helps. You need a mood to, for meditation. This, I am just telling how different people practice their spiritual disciplines in their own way. Always be positive. Don't give up. You are driving a car, sometimes you see your knee, sometimes you give heavy brake, sometimes you break and lose, break, lose. This is the way you go sometimes. Hey, recently I was watching one Indian woman pilot who was flying from Shilsha to Gauhati. When the plane took off, one wheel from the front fell. Only one, there are two wheels are there in the front, you will see. One wheel fell down on the, on the runway. One wheel was there. She was informed that this thing happened. She was rotating with his plane, consumed almost all the gas. He saw, she saw only little gas was there. Then he asked, give me chance for landing. So all firefighters, everybody was there. Nearly 60 or 70 passengers are there. This woman, really a brave woman. All, I mean, all firefighters and all are raging by the side of the runway. She came, but as we have seen, first they tilted. Lower um, wheel first touched the uh, runway. First wheel touched it, left side, then right side touched it. She, then comes the front portion, then touch. The moment the front portion touch, back two, two wheels are on the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the runway. The front one, do you know what did she do? She immediately turned off both engines. Because if she would give brake, the plane would, would just would give a halt. The nose will go straight on the ground. <coughs> so she just gave and stopped the plane on the, on the air. No. Accident. A woman pilot. I was so, I read, when I read, in, I read in details that how this woman saved so many people with her knowledge and skill. I just no, no, no gasoline in the, in the plane, little, and then just turn up the engine, and then plane have a dead stop. You see, we, there's a momentum. You see, quite, quite a distance it goes when in the runway. This is the way. So <laughs> we'll have to give a break on our on our mind. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. <laughs> But this self-control, the striving by right means can obtain it. Strive, don't give up. Some days we don't get meditation. 
sometimes very angry or disturbed or depressed or this, something, somebody is bothering me or bothering you, you go to the shrine, the image is there, you are repeating mantra, you are meditating on your enemy <laughs> or the person who disturbed you. At the time, it is better to just sit at the time, do you know what you doing? Sometimes pray, sometimes sing, sometimes read something at that time. When japam and meditation are not working, you have to do something. One will work. <clears throat> Otherwise, go to a holy man and say, please tell me something. <laughs> tell me a story. <laughs> that happened. People would come to Sri Ramakrishna and Dakshineshwar. Sir, tell me a story. <laughs> I have this problem. <clears throat> Arjuna, next Arjuna's question. Ajati shraddhayo peto yogat chalita manasa apratpa yoga sangsiddhim kam goti krishna gatshati. Do possessed by shraddha, but unable to control oneself with the mind moving away from yoga. What is the fate of one failing to gain perfection in yoga, O oh, Krishna? Very interesting. Do I please try to understand this person's condition. He has some shraddha. He has a little bit power of discrimination. He has a little renunciation. And he has some self-control, but one thing she, he was lacking, no desire for liberation. Sometimes I give this illustration. Your car, your tank is full, you know driving very well, the key is in your hand, and you turn on the engine, but you will not press the accelerator. So that is your condition now. <laughs> your car, everything is in good shape, but you won't press it. And that means you do not want to move. You do not want to go forward. That is the condition Kriya Arjuna is asking. He has some shraddha, but ajyoti. Mani, asamjato, mani, he, he, he is not, he is unable to control oneself. He does not have full control. With the mind moving away from yoga, mani, he is not going toward God. Mind is not yet good. The direction is not there. Now we have a GPS system will tell you, you know, go right, go left, this and that. He, 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 he this, this yogi needs a GPS, you see. <laughs> or else we can put one GPS on our chest when we go to the shrine. <laughs> Really, it will help. Which will, which will tell, hey, you are thinking something else. Hey, you are thinking something else. <laughs> it is, perhaps in American engineering, it is somebody may invent something, I know, one day. <laughs> perhaps GPS for the cars, GPS for the, for, for the, for the, <laughs> for meditation. <laughs> That is the reason nowadays there is a popular saying, guided meditation. <laughs> Lord knows what. <laughs> this person, do you know Vajuti, what does it mean? Shraddhaya Peto. That means Krishna, the famous saying of Durjodhana. I know what dharma is, but I don't like to practice. I know what adharma is, I cannot stop it. I am helpless. Oh Krishna, you are sitting in my heart, whatever you will direct me, I shall go. Shraddha. I have faith in God, but I have no desire to attain Him. That is the condition of this mind. I have faith in God, but I have no desire to attain Him. I have some love for God, but I do not want Him. This this is the condition of this yogi. I am just trying to set the picture of this person who is Krishna, Arjuna is talking to Krishna. What happened to this person? Good person. Shraddha, tattva vishaya 
a desire to about the truth. From Shraddha comes Birjo, Projatno, strive, effort. From that comes Smriti, meditation. From meditation comes Tattur Smaran, constant recollectedness of God. From there, Samadhi, Chitta Samaita, mind becomes absorbed in that God. And then Pragya, Jnana Rutkasha. Then comes the knowledge, wisdom, vision of God. This comes from the repetition of practice. And this yogi, do you know the problem is, uh, the name of this chapter is Yoga Bhrashto. What are the condition of the fallen yogi? That Krishna is going to answer. This yogi, first stage, Pratham Kulpika, he has, he, he just started to learn all these disciplines of yoga, wholeheartedly. Second, Modubhumika. He has controlled the senses and some objects, sense objects. His mind does not run after sense objects. He has quite a bit of control. On the second stage comes temptation, test. That whether you have control, lust, or greed, or yogi, women or men, whatever you know, yogi you are, and money, power, wealth, all these things will come. Sometimes yogis test. The Sri Ramakrishna, he kept his wife next to him, six, eight months they slept together. No relation, physical relationship. He tested. My mind, this is your wife. You have every right to enjoy her. Do you want? No, I want mother. He tested. Some yogis, they test anger. Suppose he will scold you and try to make you very angry. Then you will be very angry and he just that whether I return anger against anger or not. Sometimes they test. I shall make you mad and you just bombard on me and I shall absorb. <laughs> and test myself that whether I have control of anger or not. <laughs> you see, these are all <laughs> kinds of yoga. <laughs> that is second stage. Third stage, Prigga Jyoti. Prigga Jyoti means at that time he has X-ray vision. He can see. Whenever he does any action, he knows the result of action. He will not be easily tempted. But even that stage, you know, he has control over the bhutas of the sense objects and the sense organs. But still a little time to time curiosity may come. That time also he may fall. And next stage is called Otikranta Bhavaniya. That is Jivan Mukta, Illumin Soul. Na priya is prishata, good and bad cannot affect him. No temptation can affect him. Unaffected, established in self, in the Atman, in God. Perfect yogi. Next question, Arjuna asked, Kuchinna uvayo vibrashto chinna abhravaimavna asyati? Apratishta Mahabhava Bhimura Brahmanapati does such a person fallen from both and deluded in the path of Brahman perish without support like a rent cloud, O mighty armed one? Kochinna Uvayo Vibrashto. Do you know what is the person? This person started his yoga, but he could not make it. From the two paths, path of karma, which takes you to heaven, and path of meditation, which will take you to liberation. From both paths, this man falls. He could not make it. Why? Few reasons. First, perhaps he died. While he's practicing yoga, he could not make it because of the earlier death, premature, you know, death. Second, he uh, he didn't become sincere afterwards. 
He gave his speech, then he stopped. And there he was stuck. So this is the person. Mani, a karma yoga, dhyana margo, karma margo. The path of action and path of meditation. He started, but his car stalled in the middle of the freeway. And he did not have three pillar either. So he is stuck there. He started to walk by the side of the road and somebody may help or he will go to a gas station and trying to a tow truck to help. That is the condition of this yogi. He started his journey, good journey, good intention, but could not make it. What happens to this person? Disease destroyed like a scattered clouds, Arjuna was asking. Swami Turiyananda told one story. During his spiritual journey, he, was, he had a deep depression. He was on the roof of the Baranagar monastery. Whole place was cloudy, dark. All of a sudden, the wind began to blow, and the cloud was blown away. Then he saw that was a full moon light. That was a full moon night. He saw light everywhere. He, a little while ago, I saw everything was dark. Now I see full moon, light. So why do I have this depression? It must go. And that became a revelation to him. I'm just telling, when the dark night of the soul, when depression comes, don't give up. Wait. The cloud, the darkness will not stay longer. It will go away. We have seen what happens to Yoga Prashto. Sometimes you have seen your house caught fire and no way to come out. Some people jump from the second floor, third floor through the window. They may think they may die, but still let me try. That happens to these yogis, fallen yogis. Why do they fall? Sometimes ego. Ego. Or ego pride must have a fall. Ego brings the downfall. Oh, I'm a great yogi. Sometimes it <coughs> I wrote down sometimes ego, sometimes they wanted to show some power that brings their downfall. Overconfidence. Very difficult. Did not obey the teachings of the Guru. That brings downfall. Sometimes lust brings the downfall. Sometimes too much money brings the downfall. It happens. Many yogis, you know, they get many name and fame and many minister, millions of dollars, and cannot handle so much money and wealth. They get corrupted. Too much association with worldly people. They be, that brings downfall. The, Krishna will tell us that, you know, that do not worry, it, it, is, it is possible, this kind of fall. <laughs> Some even commit suicide. Some cannot show their face when they fall. Sometimes you will find some yogis are arrested <laughs> and their disciples are all confused. There are so, so many things we see in this world. There are some hypocrite yogis are also there. So, so what will happen to these people? Krishna will answer to all these questions in our next lecture. <laughs> First, some people want name and fame. 
Some people say, seek occult power. Some people fall because of the too much association with the worldly people. Some people are get tempted by lust, and some people are tempted by gold money. There are many ways these yogis fall. If ordinary people falls, if ordinary people fall, people don't mind. But if a great soul or a president of the United States or some big people fall, it shakes the minds of the people, you see. It does. So we shall, just um, Krishna, Arjuna put all the questions to Arjuna. Should they really go astray? They, they, have, they have no hope. Krishna will say, no, 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 no. There is no distraction for such a one, neither here nor hereafter, the doer of good. Whatever you have done good in your life, that will be with you. That is your earning. It will never leave you. So there is hope. But the fallen yogi is also a great teacher. By falling himself, he is telling us, don't follow me, he will fall. We can learn from everybody, even from a fallen yogi. Anyhow, we shall not too much <laughs> talk about the fallen part, we shall see the upper part going forward. <laughs> there is hope, no doubt. Thank you. Um, sarve bhavand sukhina sarve santu niramaya sarve bhadrani pashyantu makashi dukkha bhag bhagbet durjana sajjana huyat sajjana shanti mapnuyat shanta mucchita bandhi bho mukta shanyan bimochayat may all be happy may all be free from disease may all realize what is good may none be subject to misery May the wicked become, become virtuous. May the virtuous attain tranquility. May the tranquil be free from bonds. May the free make others free. Om Shantihi, Shantihi, Shantihi. Peace, peace, peace be unto all.